wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best poetry books. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, some of the greatest poems ever penned didn't adhere to any traditional forms and instead would find their home in a collection like Great American Prose Poems, edited by David Lehman. You won't see any sonnets or villanelles in here, just blocks of beautiful text. Many entries have a narrative arc, and the foreword is succinct and useful. However, formalists may not enjoy it. At number 9, one of the most exciting things about many of the pieces found in the complete poems of Emily Dickinson is how short they are. The author could elicit tremendous depth from just a few lines, making this a great collection to pick up when you only have a few minutes to spare. It's arranged chronologically and features an elegant use of punctuation, but it gets extremely dark toward the end. Coming in at number 8 in our list, impeccably translated from the original French by the late great American poet John Ashbery, this edition of Arthur Rimbaud's Illuminations breathes an exceptional amount of fire and musicality into a selection that could easily prove elusive to the wrong ears. It features transcendentally symbolic language and finely woven biblical imagery. However, it can come across as too grandiose. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for poetry books, or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, winner of the 2016 National Poetry Series, I Know Your Mind by William Brewer takes its readers on an honest and harrowing tour of the Appalachian opioid epidemic that continues to beleaguer the author's home state of West Virginia. It's written with immense empathy and includes tender visions of suffering and loss. But formalism lurks beneath the surface. Moving up our list to number 6. While the United States doesn't have the rich poetic history of many European or Asian countries, it does have Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass. This facsimile edition presents the writer's first publication of his iconic work before he began his endless edits. It's deeply in tune with nature and examine selfhood with swagger. However, it is somewhat male-oriented. Halfway up our list at number 5, containing what is perhaps the most influential epic poem in American literature since Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass. Howl at Other Poems by Allen Ginsberg is a title that will find a place in any serious reader's library. It boasts a richly musical construction and tackles guilt and the fear of death, but it is hard to read in one sitting. At number 4, fans of more formal poetic construction will appreciate the tight verses contained in Collected Sonnets by Edna St. Vincent Millay. What's most striking about the collection, however, is its decidedly feminist tone in works written before the Second World War. It employs multiple sonnet structures and contains open and honest bisexual content. However, the style may seem outdated to some. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, Invisible Cities by Italo Calvino imagines a young Marco Polo tasked with describing the various cities of the Mongolian Empire to its leader Kublai Khan. The descriptions of each location become philosophical examinations of desire, memory and self. It's written in a prose style and the imagery is incredibly vivid. It evokes a deep thoughtfulness. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki. Dot easyvid.com. Go there now and search for poetry books, or simply click beneath this video. At number two, written with some of the cleanest language from the Beat Generation, Jack Gilbert Collected Poems chronicles the poet's long life in metaphors drawn from Greek mythology, opera, and the landscapes of both his hometown of Pittsburgh and his hideaway Mediterranean Isle. It discovers beauty in loneliness and studies the nature of love deeply. This one's easy for non-poets to enjoy. And coming in at number one on our list, Ariel, the restored edition, takes the version of Sylvia Plath's last collection of poems that was posthumously edited and released by her husband Ted Hughes and returns it to her originally intended layout, which is significantly different from its first printing. It features personal notes that show her process, Shades of Emily Dickinson and stark and haunting diction. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for poetry books, or simply click beneath this video.